decided that UMG Philadelphia is going to be the last tournament in my um, competing career in competitive Call of Duty. So that may come as a shock to a lot of you, maybe not. I'm not really sure. Uh, it's an idea I've been uh, tossing around in my head for the past month, maybe more so than a month, and uh, especially the past few years. And our winners of the 2009 Call of Duty 4 National Champions is Team Extract. Let me read this off for you guys. The 2009 Call of Duty 4 National Champion, the 2010 Modern Warfare 2 Pro Circuit Ladder Number 2 Xbox 360 Champion, the PS3 MBW 2 Pro Circuit Ladder Champion, 2011 Black Ops GameStop 4v4 National Finals Champion, the 2011 Black Ops MLG Columbus, as well as Orlando Champion 2 Black Ops events there. Then we take it to Modern Warfare 3, and this is what Big Timer lit it up. Big Timer, you have to sit through this. <laughs> MW3 Call of Duty XP Champion, where he banked how many dollars? Like 93 grand after taxes. Pretty solid day of work there. You got the MW3 Machinima Frag Cup 4 Championship under his belt. EGL5, EGL7, UMG Chicago, 360 Icons Farewell Champion, and of course, 2012's Black Ops 2. UMG Chicago Championships, 13 major titles and around $145,000 won by Big Timer. Big Timer, you are one of the most successful, actually you are the most successful Black Ops player as well as Call of Duty player of all two up on the map as we're going to see the other guys start to spawn in here. Remember, it's a seven and a half respawn delay time. So when you get knocked out, you got to wait seven and a half seconds to get back in. Big timer coming up big with a two piece to take out Drifter and Bash and cleaning up. White Boy is going to be able to get all of them and he does. He picks up the aces. Everybody's now off the map. He's going to get the stuns into C and he does that. Picking up one stun. Gonna a grenade while simultaneously capping B takes out oh, Drifter, huh. takes out Bash, and this is why he is a Call of Duty National Champion. And big timer, one of the best players in the game, comes up to spawn with a two piece. This guy is a complete monster on the sticks. That was absolutely monstrous what that man did right there. He's he single handedly clear, cleared out the entire team from B. Like three times. Capped the B flag and then single handedly cleared them out once again right off their spawn. And he, he has still not, he still yet. hasn't died yet. He continues with his round, picks up a two piece, taking out both White Boy and Marka J. Coming in here, gonna take out Drifter as well. This man is on fire. Someone needs to put him out. He is Spawn here, knows where they're coming in, takes out White Boy, and this guy single-handedly is turning it around for his team, as now they've got an eight-point lead finally on this round, until Bash could finally distinguish the fire, which is Big Timer. And there you have it, Optic Gaming is your Call of Duty XP 2011 champions. They're taking home $400,000. It's going to be $100,000 per player, and on the flip side, You've got Infinity that's going to take home $200,000 at 50 per player. Give it up for these guys. It was an excellent matchup as the U.S. beats over the U.K. There you have it. Optic Gaming, your Call of Duty XP 2011 champions. Lots of respect between these two teams as they shake hands. Of a, of a different door. I, I want to have fun with what I'm doing, and I know if what I'm doing every day I have fun with, I'm going to put more effort into it. And, uh, and ultimately, I'm going to come out with, with a better product and, and a better life, to be honest with you. So I got nothing but love for, uh, for everybody in the competitive Call of Duty community. Um, you know, everybody who's been there since the beginning, all of the organizations. If it wasn't for, you know, for Optic, for MLG, for Activision, for Treyarch, for a lot of these people, um, I don't know where I would be today, to be honest with you. I definitely wouldn't be talking to you guys and they... Um, they 100% changed my life for the better, and I'll never be able to change. All, all over there. The rest of them are back to security. One was long. Yeah, that's all. You guys have a the guy's Fuck, fuck. Let's fucking work on the back. Oh, 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 roasted. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. With all of that being said, also, I will be coaching the boys in the 2014 season. So I'm still going to be involved uh, very deeply in the community. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, but like I said, uh, in order to do that, I don't have to you know, get on and play 10 hours a day to hone my physical skills and get these situations drilled in my head. You know, I can sit back, I can still watch teams stream, watch them practice. 
uh, use that, use my Call of Duty expertise to break down what they're doing and, and help my team ultimately bring home more championships and, um, and you know, just have more consistent placings like Optic is known to do, like, back in the day.